whose ideology should they believe in? Who will lead the team? And should they all go out for tacos or shawarma? I, I understood that reference. We've all emptied countless tissue boxes with our Endgame tiers, but the time has come to look ahead to the future of the MCU. At least that's what Marvel thinks, with it recently announcing its Phase 4 plans for its super-successful, endlessly endearing cinematic universe. And even though we've been treated to a list of upcoming movies and TV series for Phase 4, there's still a lot of speculation flying around with regards to the specifics. Welcome back to The Binger, guys, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at 25 Phase 4 theories that will change the MCU forever. So sit back, nerd out, and take heed of this giant spoiler alert, and prepare to have your mind snapped into a gust of dust. These are going to be coming at you thick and fast, so hold on tight. <laughs> Number 1. Thanos Returns Regardless of how dastardly the big purple meanie was, Thanos was a legend in every sense of the word. He may have perished in Avengers Endgame, but some are theorizing that he may not be gone for good. In fact, he may very well still be alive, sort of, and trapped inside the Soul Stone. The theory goes that when Thanos snapped his fingers in Avengers Infinity War, those affected didn't actually perish, they were merely trapped inside the Soul Stone. And if that was the case, then maybe Thanos and his army are trapped in there after Iron Man snapped his fingers. And if that is the case, then it may only be a matter of time before he's resurrected and returns to wreak havoc. Let's not forget that Thanos does have a history with a certain sorrowful entity in the comics. Number 2. Harley Keener Becomes Iron Man Another comic and cinematic legend to meet his end in the conveniently named Avengers Endgame was, of course, Tony Stark. And in the short time between his demise and the Phase 4 reveal, the idea of someone else stepping up to become Iron Man has been all anyone's been talking about. But who could it be? Well, some say it could be Peter Parker. And while that would be cool, another theory suggests that it will be Harley Keener. You know, the kid Tony meets in Iron Man 3 and the guy who turned up at his funeral. He is clearly a smart kid who has a love for Iron Man. And he may only have had a potato cannon when he was younger, but I wonder what he's made since then. He may be a child prodigy just like Tony. Some other theories suggest that Tony and Pepper's daughter Morgan could potentially don the armor too. And then there's Riri Williams, aka Ironheart from the 2015 comics. Either way, we're back bound to get some sort of homage to the genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Number 3. The X-Men Turn Up With the whole Disney-Marvel-Fox relationship being up in the air for a few years now, there have been certain iconic Marvel characters excluded from the MCU for legal reasons. Notably, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and a certain foul-mouthed mercenary. Oh! Oh, hello. But all that could be about to change with Fox now sitting under the Disney umbrella as of 2019. And this could mean that these previously absent characters will turn up in Phase 4 of the MCU. But how will their absence be explained? Well, some sort of multiverse would probably make the most sense. Another version of Earth running parallel to the one in the MCU. It would certainly help explain why mutants have never been mentioned in the MCU. But more on the multiverse a bit further down on this list. Number 4. The Sinister Six Although we've only had two standalone Spidey movies with Tom Holland at the helm, they've still managed to give us a variety of villains. Between Homecoming and Far From Home, we've had Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion, Mysterio, and a series of elemental baddies to include sand, water, and fire. Hmm, where have we seen something similar to this? Ah yes, the Sinister Six from the comics. This group of baddies, whose members have included everyone from Doc Ock to Kraven the Hunter, join forces to take Spidey out. And with Holland's Spidey, already totting up a few big names on his bad guy roster, a vengeful Sinister Six plan could very well be in the books. Number 5. The Skrull Invasion there was a lot of talk of a potential Skrull invasion thanks to Captain Marvel entering the MCU. But these were all pretty much put to bed following the events of the Captain Marvel movie in which the Skrull species were revealed as being peaceful and misunderstood. But could this just be a smokescreen and an attempt to hide their real agenda? It's unlikely, but this is the MCU we're talking about, so anything could happen. Just think about it. Skrull can hide in plain sight disguised as anyone. I mean, a scroll posed as Nick Fury for the entirety of Far From Home. Who's to say that a bunch of the other key characters aren't scrolls in disguise? Number 6. Onslaught Could Make an Appearance if Thanos is gone for good, and the previously uninitiated MCU Marvel characters like the X-Men are to join the fray, then we'll need a pretty tough bad guy to cause them problems. One theory suggests that Onslaught could be making his MCU debut in Phase 4. The colossal bad guy, who is created from the consciousness of both Professor X and Magneto, can be seen causing all sorts of havoc in the comics. And similar to Thanos, it takes a huge ensemble of heroes to take him down. 
Number seven, another civil war takes place. Great powers and personalities coming together to save the world is awesome, but just as we saw in Captain America Civil War, it can sometimes lead to quarrels. And if the aforementioned X-Men and Fantastic Four hop onto the MCU train, there could very well be a sit down and a host of disagreements. Like whose ideology should they believe in? Who will lead the team? And should they all go out for tacos or shawarma? And then shawarma after. But this isn't merely speculation. We've seen it happen in the comics in 2012's Avengers vs. X-Men. Number eight, Ultron will return. Remember Ultron? He may not have made as big of an impact as Thanos or been as powerful in the movies as he was in the comics, but a return to the MCU would be pretty cool. And it's totally plausible. The thing about Ultron is, he's kind of like a bad smell. You can never completely get rid of him. And that's mainly because of his technological foundations and the fact that he can basically upload his consciousness into a computer system. With that in mind, who's to say he's not laying dormant somewhere, waiting for the right time to attack? He did briefly spend time on the Avengers Quinjet in Age of Ultron, so maybe he uploaded a piece or a version of himself into the jet. Number nine, Red Skull could lead Hydra again. Hugo Weaving was amazing as Red Skull, and it's a shame he didn't get a longer run out. But with the Russo brothers confirming that Red Skull was actually freed from his protective duties on Vormir following Thanos' acquisition of the Soul Stone, some fans have got their hopes up. True, Red Skull, aka Johann Schmidt, is still stuck on Vormir as far as we know, but who's to say he couldn't return to Earth and head up another Hydra uprising? Number 10, Black Widow Origins. Thanks to the growing popularity of Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, we already know we're getting a standalone Black Widow movie. But as of yet, we don't know what it's going to be about. With Black Widow's demise in Endgame, it's pretty obvious that the movie will be a prequel of some sort, possibly focusing on some of her previous missions or her Russian spy origins. We do know that Florence Pugh will be starring alongside of her, and it looks like she will be playing one of Natasha Romanov's adversaries, Yelena Belova. With a prequel exploring her backstory, maybe we will finally find out what happened with Black Widow and Hawkeye in Budapest. You and I remember Budapest very differently. Number 11, the quantum realm is a big deal. With the introduction of Ant-Man back in 2015, we gained another riveting but confusing piece of science in the quantum realm. And although it was used to world-saving effects in Endgame thanks to a nifty bit of time travel, it's very unlikely that we've seen the end of it. In fact, it's quite possible that the quantum realm could play a huge part in Phase 4. Not only does the quantum realm seem to be inhabited by alien-like beings, but as we mentioned, it's led the way for time travel, which could of course be a massive game changer. But it doesn't stop at time travel. The quantum realm could also help the heroes of the MCU navigate the multiverse that could be lingering in the background, and that could see the introduction of new heroes. Of course, with new heroes comes new villains, and one of those could easily be Kang the Conqueror, a highly formidable foe from the Marvel comics who is skilled in time travel. Number 12, Captain Britain and Black Knight. Although this one is based around a lot of rumor, it seems to keep popping up all over the place, especially since Phase 4 was officially announced. The rumor goes that there will be a Captain Britain and Black Knight movie hitting cinemas in the near future. Both are well-known heroes from the Marvel comics and have been members of the superhero group The Defenders, and Marvel has expressed interest in exploring these characters previously. In fact, Captain Britain's real name, Brian Braddock, was actually mentioned by Peggy Carter in Avengers Endgame, which has led many to theorize about the the character's potential inclusion in the MCU. Not only that, but there were also whispers about a Captain Britain and Black Knight movie being penciled in to be cast at Pinewood Studios with Guy Ritchie's name attached to direct. It may all just be hearsay, but we will see. Number 13, a new wave of heroes? A lot of story arcs came to a close at the end of Phase 3, which have led a lot of people to ask, what's going to happen to the Avengers? Of course, there's already been a bit of a reshuffle, like Falcon taking up the Captain America mantle, but one theory suggests that there could even be an uprising of a new generation of Avengers. Let's not forget that Marvel has been subtly laying the foundation for years. There's Morgan, Iron Man's daughter, Cassie, Ant-Man's daughter, and Leela Barton, Hawkeye's daughter. These characters could easily step up and fill the respective shoes of their superhero parents and breathe new life into the MCU. And with the Disney Plus service, we may see their characters fleshed out in a bunch of TV series before they make the jump to the big screen. Number 14, Captain America Returns from the Past. All this talk of returning characters in time travel has got us thinking. Why can't Chris Evans' Cap return to help the Avengers in present day? Picture it, a new threat comes to Earth and our group of heroes needs an ace up their sleeve. Why not shoot back in time, grab Steve Rogers, who's living out his life with Peggy, and ask him for a hand? Granted, he probably won't be too happy that you've interrupted him, but still, it's always good to have a backup plan. 
Number 15, Namor's debut is imminent. The idea of Namor the Submariner making an appearance in the MCU has been around for a while now, and the idea was mainly fueled by two Easter eggs that suggest something is going on in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Could this be Namor? Quite possibly. Where exactly he would fit into the MCU is a difficult one, as he has acted both as hero and villain in the comics. Maybe his ambiguous alliance could play into the whole Avengers and X-Men Civil War thing, and his presence could be a deciding factor in who comes out victorious. Number 16, Nova will join the MCU. So this next theory has arguably one of the best chances of actually happening. It suggests that the superhero Nova is going to join the MCU lineup. And for those who aren't familiar with Nova, he's basically like a super powerful cosmic magic Marvel version of DC's Green Lantern. Nova was apparently written into the early drafts of Guardians of the Galaxy, but of course cut before the final draft. Not only has his character clearly been considered, but according to Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, Nova is a character that he sees as having immediate potential. And Guardians 3 is just around the corner. Plus, Nova is a teen, which would fit into the whole new generation of Avengers theory. And the Nova Corps has already been introduced in the MCU. And Nova's cosmic abilities could fit nicely alongside Marvel's penchant for exploring otherworldly, CGI-infused epic magic sequences. Just watch five minutes of Doctor Strange and you'll see what we mean. Number 17, The High Evolutionary. As we just mentioned, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 has been announced as one of Marvel's Phase 4 movies, but plot details, including who the villain will be, are still a little iffy. One theory suggests that Marvel Comics' High Evolutionary will be joining the MCU, and as his motives are usually a little unpredictable, it'll be interesting to see how it will play out. His all-out villainous potential cannot be overlooked, though, and with godlike abilities at his fingertips, he could be a real threat. Also, with his background in animal experimentation, it's been said that the High Evolutionary is responsible for creating Rocket Raccoon, at least in the MCU anyway. Why did it have to get made? Number 18, The Real Mandarin. It's no secret that the Mandarin being revealed as an actor in Iron Man 3 was a bit of a letdown to some fans. That's why the idea of the MCU getting a real Mandarin is so exciting. Another movie confirmed for Phase 4 is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And the Mandarin looks set to appear. And the evidence for this is a strange one. It actually revolves around a short film released back in 2013 starring Ben Kingsley's Trevor Slattery entitled all Hail the King. It shows the actor being interviewed in prison regarding his time pretending to be the Mandarin. And the guy who is interviewing him is a member of the Ten Rings. And right at the end, we're told that the real Mandarin is eager to meet Kingsley's slattery. This could lead straight into the Shang-Chi movie, and we could finally get the movie-worthy Mandarin we've all been waiting for. Number 19, Doctor Doom. Yes, yes, let's talk about another potential villain, because Doctor Doom is another comic book legend that's never fully been explored on the big screen. He's not just a genius egomaniac, the guy's got some serious sorcery abilities. And he was even Iron Man for a short period of time, so the writers have plenty to go off of. And although he is best known as a Fantastic Four villain, Doom has made an impact right across the Marvel comic book universe, from Spider-Man to Black Panther. Number 20, Steve Rogers cameos. For many of us, Stan Lee cameo spotting in the MCU movies was a joy. But now that he has sadly passed, some people have been talking about the possibility of old Steve Rogers appearing in his place. You'll never replace Stan Lee, but having old Cap say hello every now and again is a pretty good compromise, don't you think? Number 21, Moon Knight. Another character tips to join the MCU, but he's not as cut and dry as some other characters. He's flawed, complicated, schizophrenic, and all kinds of awesome. He's like a vigilante mercenary combined with Batman, the Joker, John Constantine, and Doctor Strange, which is just amazing. Anyway, there was a hint to his appearance in Captain America the Winter Soldier, when Jasper Sitwell mentions that a guy from Cairo could be a threat to Hydra's plans. The guy from Cairo, a.k.a. Mark Spector, a.k.a. Moon Knight. Pretty exciting stuff. Number 22, Captain Marvel leads the Avengers. So this next theory is just kind of waiting to happen. We know that Tony Stark and Steve Rogers are retired from their leading roles in the Avengers, at least in the current timeline. So the question is, who's going to step up? Nothing's been confirmed yet, but we may see Captain Marvel step into a more leadership-based role. Let's not forget, although she has starred in multiple MCU movies, she's not really been seen alongside the Avengers that much, always flying off to help someone else on another planet. So Phase 4 could see her become a staple of the MCU as its new leader. She's certainly got an awesome costume for it. 23. Black Widow Returns 
Okay, so let's go all the way back to what we said earlier about the Soul Stone. So take the idea of someone being trapped inside the Soul Stone and apply it to Black Widow. Could that mean that she may make a return? She's getting a prequel, probably, but what if she returns to present day as she's trapped in the Soul Stone? Steve Rogers returned the stone to Vormir at the end of Endgame, so maybe the whole Soul for a Soul thing was kinda cancelled out and Black Widow is alive again. Fingers crossed, anyway. Number 24, Backseat Characters. As new characters look to enter the MCU, some of the established older characters may end up being a little redundant. And instead of having starring roles in the MCU movies, they may take a backseat onto the small screen. We already know that Loki, Falcon, and Bucky are getting their own TV series. But does that mean that they won't be appearing in the MCU movies going forward? And if that's the case, how many current MCU characters are going to be making a similar jump to Disney Plus? Is Phase 4 the last we'll see of Thor? What about Ant-Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, and... Oh, man, I need to sit down. Number 25, Norman Osborn. Let's end on a slightly chirpier note, shall we? And by that I mean the potential appearance of yet another iconic villain, Norman Osborn. So there's a few Easter eggs and hints scattered throughout the previous phase of the MCU. Like who's going to be moving into the Avengers Tower? Could it really be the new Oscorp building? And will new Asgard fall at the hands of Osborn, just like in the 2010 comic? Either way, like a lot of other villains mentioned on today's list, there is a gap to be filled in the MCU, and Norman Osborn could certainly fill it. Yes, he could appear as the Green Goblin, but with the Avengers dwindling in numbers after Endgame, he could be seen establishing the Dark Avengers in the MCU. And if that does happen, wow. So which theory blew your mind? Were there any of your favorite Phase 4 theories that we missed? Be sure and let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Binger YouTube channel for more awesome videos like this one. See you next time.